defending. It is the backbone of OPBR. It is necessary to not let your opponent take your treasure. Therefore the defender class excel at it. Sure. Any class can defend, but it is not their primary feature. The job should be left to the beefy boys at the back keeping the flag secure. There are three ways of defending a flag. Tanking hits, knocking back, and stalling. Tanking hits. Chads like Yurauj and Enaru has the ability to take minimum damage from max characters. Taking hits and getting downed can be a good strategy in end games. Getting back up takes at least 3 seconds. In the meantime the enemy can't capture. As long as you keep your character alive and in the flag area there is no need to fight back if you're having trouble with it. Knocking back. Katakuri and Fuji are really good at knocking your opponent back. This wins you a couple of seconds at least and lets you either fill the flag back up or get help if needed. It's a useful thing to do as it might also help knock the character down a ledge where they can't easily return. Stalling. Pretty much any unit can do this and it's encouraged in late game if you're leading. Basically try your best to perfect dodge, inflict tremor, stun, or shock. Anything to buy time really. Let's go through the beginning of a game. It's a defender's job to get first flag and fill it up to maximum. If there is more than one defender, try to communicate using the stamps who's taking first flag. There is no use with having two defenders defending the first flag in the beginning, so if your teammate takes first flag, just move up to the second one. When defending you want to stay within your treasure area. Defenders get boosts from their trays from staying inside it. Let the enemy come to you and you'll have the advantage. Let's go through some of the more useful defenders that you should try to get. We will start with some step up characters. Yurauj. He is a thick chonka who can build up a great defense. With his tray it lets him go up to a 50% defense boost. You want to build up the boost by avoiding skills and trying to tank normal hits. Luckily he has a counter skill that you can use if you need to avoid an enemy skill. His build is quite easy. Just max out his defense and attack. His other trays are also good with a boost in attack and damage and a survivability tray that lets him live on 1 HP. Reducing cooldown on his counter is also a good tray. If you're new and want a defender, try going for him. Nightmare Luffy. This boy is over a year old already, but he still does the trick. He has the nullify shock and entrance tray that every Luffy has, and gets a nice attack boost from being within his own treasure area and when an ally is KO'd he gets a nice boost in attack and defense. His metal build is best with attack and defense, but try to max attack and use a set with damage boost in your treasure area, as he can do insane amounts of damage that way. Sasar Clown. He is incredible at defending. Pretty much untouchable with his smiles and land of nothing out if you keep him within the smiles and treasure area, the enemy is going to have a bad time. His trays allow him to get a good defense boost and damage reduction as well as nullifying flame and poison. He also gets a bit of health back when attacking a poisoned enemy. Give him a defensive metal set and you have a top tier defender. So. If you are a free to play player and want to get a good defender to level 100 quickly, I recommend using one of these boys. They are easy to learn and play and are as good as some of the bounty fest characters. You will get fragments to level them up from the shop and from gold chests in league. Then we have Perona. She is also a step up but requires a bit more skill to use. Her attacks are weak, but she can put enemies in a negative state which is one of the better debuffs in the game. This makes it so that the enemy can't attack you, basically giving you free hits on the enemy. 
However, you need to be able to juggle the enemy in her ghost ring to keep debuffing your enemy and getting a defense boost for yourself. She gets a nice damage reduction from standing in her treasure area, as well as a defense boost from hitting the negative enemy. Her tracking ghosts are also good for the whole team, as they have a long range. And standing in your treasure area also helps with reducing that cooldown. Now, let's move on to the Bounty Fest Defenders. Here are some of the best defenders in the game and some you want to spend 4 star fragments on if you want to play defender. Remember that the meter always will change, and these units might suffer over time from new units being introduced. Enru. He loves to shock people and he gets an attack boost for doing so. He also gets a damage boost from attacking a shocked player. His output can be massive if you hit the enemy with skill 1, then skill 2, as skill 1 is guaranteed to shock. His defense is built on damage reduction, and he gets a 70% damage reduction from standing in his own treasure and in his tray area created by skill 2. With metals and support, his damage can be reduced even further. Also standing within your treasure area reduces skill 1 and using skill 1 to shock reduces skill 2, so he has a nice build for defending. Fuji. He is a meatball that can tank most hits coming his way. He has the usual 30% damage reduction tray that most defenders have, but he also has a 50% damage reduction when he has more than 70% HP. This is good, as his skill 1 can do okay damage and has a long range letting him use it without getting hit. When using skill 1 and knocking back an enemy you also get a 30% attack boost. He also have a small damage boost against warlord characters, which is nice. A defensive build is a must, and then you can choose if you want to give him more attack or HP, but cooldown reduction is good. Singoku. He is a more supportive defender with his skill 2 healing his teammates for 25% HP and giving them a 20% defense boost if they enter the tray area. He also gets the usual 30% damage reduction in treasure area, but with a additional 40% reduction to damage less than 20% of his HP. He has sadly fallen out of the meter a bit, but he's still playable if you have him. Give him a good metal set with HP and defense and try to have cooldown to help with skill 2. Kid. He's a very offensive defender, having a lot of attack and damage boosts. When downed he gets a 30% attack boost, which is a lot for a defender. He also has a 30% damage boost instead of damage reduction in treasure area. He also gets an additional 20% damage boost if you have more treasure captured. That crit boost is also a nice bonus. The only defensive boost is from using skill 2, so keep that in mind if you want to play him. Attack and defense is the best build for him, as his trays are so focused in that area. Magellan. Venom Demon is one of the best defensive skills. Using it inside of your treasure area blocks it almost completely. He gets a nice 30% reduction in treasure area and additional 30% when HP is over 50%. He also survives getting one shotted, which is nice. The main strategy is to spam the Venom Demon skill as much as possible, so cooldown reduction medals are the best build. He gets a nice 5% cooldown reduction when getting hit, which also helps. Build him with defense and HP boost and he can pretty much hold the treasure as long as you want. Mehawk. He has the usual 30% damage reduction tray when in treasure area, but this time with an 20% damage boost to attackers. There is an additional 30% damage reduction when HP is over 50%. He also gets skill reduction in treasure area. He gets a nice healing from attacking enemies, and using his skills can bring him over 50% quickly if needed. The best way to play him is to use his long range skills inside treasure area to do damage while healing. Build him with defense and a mix of HP and attack and skill cooldown on the metals, then you will have one of the best defenders in the game. Katakuri. 
He has a really nice build with a crit tray that lets him heal. With a nice Luchi metal set he can also decrease cooldown on skill 2 while using it, as it has a high crit chance. Alongside that he has nice damage reduction trays from being over 50% health and in your own treasure area. Skill 1 also has a nice knockback on it and a large area on the last hit. A really soiled build for a defender. Well, that was all the good defenders in the game. Yes. All of them. Okay I will go through EXs in another video, since they aren't just normal units. But to conclude the video, Mehawk. Katakuri. Magellan. Urauj. These are probably the best non-EX defenders we have right now. Play them defensively and keep inside your treasure area and you will give your opponent a hard time. Play them according to their individual build and you will get the most out of each unit.